Right now I'm in Ukraine covering the war. Though I'm amidst the profanity of killing and everything that a war brings along, I still have experienced the very deepest emotions, the very deepest examples of kindness and humanity during my time in Ukraine and the Polish-Ukrainian border in the last many days. At the Polish-Ukrainian border at Medeka and Korchova, I met people like Megan, uh, Sonia, I met Victor, who have like, like, like left everything behind and just like traveled down to the border of, of Poland and Ukraine just to help the refugees coming in from Ukraine to Poland. Sonia is a photographer from the US who's kind of left her job and just because she speaks Russian and a lot of refugees who are coming into Poland speaks Russian, she just thought that like she should be there to work as a translator for them. Megan is a doctor and she thought that this is the time that she need to be at Medeka to help the ailing that who, who's walking into the into, into Poland through the Medeka border. Victor and his girlfriend was spending their holidays on the Alps when the war started and they immediately knew that uh, people would be in crisis, people would be coming into Poland from, uh, from, from Ukraine. They cut short their holiday, they just stuffed their jeep with essentials and drove all the way down from the Alps to the Polish-Ukrainian border just to help people. Our, they bought things with their savings money, which definitely got over very, very fast. And then they took to the so took on to social media, and people are are helping them now. To and they are still continuing their work at Madeka. So I've, I've seen selfless people like these during these very difficult times when you kind of tend to lose hope in humanity. You just come face to face to people like this. More than anyone else, I would want to talk about Andre and Chris, whom I met in Ukraine. I was in Lviv, wondering how I could go into Kyiv um, to cover the situation there. Um, transportation is very difficult in Ukraine right now. And Andre was going to Kyiv from Lviv. He was driving from Lviv to Kyiv and he just said, like, hop onto my car. I just hopped onto his car, drove all the way to Kyiv. By the time we reached Kyiv, it was night, the curfew had started and I realized that I have forgot to book a hotel because I just like went with them in a, in a snap of a finger. And Andre said that, don't worry brother, just stay back at my place. My, 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 my wife and kids, they're in Poland, so my kids' rooms are empty, so just stay, stay back at my place, not a problem. Not only that, after driving for nine hours, he cooked dinner for me, fed me, gave me his boys a uh, bedroom to stay in. Next day we went to Bucha, uh, Borodyanka together uh, to witness the horrors that has happened there. So it was kind of uh, two things in front of me at the same time. On one side there were the horrors of infinite inhumanity at Bucha and Borodyanka and on the other side I had Andre with, uh, uh, Andre with me who was kind of the face of kindness that have come across. So this trip, this, this journey of mine into the war-torn Ukraine and the Ukrainian-Polish border has restored my faith in humanity. I still believe there are more kind people on earth than, uh, than bad people.